So let's bring it up to around 3000 RPM and around negative six PSI or so. Okay, so now we're here in the table. Now we look at what our air fuel is reading and we can see that we're way too rich. We're around 11 to one air fuel. So let's go ahead and start reducing the values in the table here. So let's pull a bunch of uh, values out. Let's reduce it by around 10%. Okay, so now we can see our air fuel is gone in, it's running around 12.5 to one or so. Okay, so now let's go and reduce it again because we want to be at 14.7 here. We're gonna go and pull another 10% out and okay, so now we're right around 13.8 air fuel. So let's go and move it in small increments and bump it down a little bit more. Okay, so now we're right around this 14.7. So we've uh, essentially went in and reduced our volumetric efficiency values and now we're hitting our desired air fuel. So we can use this technique just like this to go through the entire table and, and change the values so that we get the actual VE of the engine so that our fuel model is correct. Now, if we're gonna go into our wide open throttle because this has a wide band sensor already in it, we can use the readings and go ahead and calibrate the table. So if we move up and just do a quick 100% throttle here and hit our load point uh, you know, around zero PSI, if we hold it right there, we can see that we're still way too rich. We're gonna have to reduce it a bit. So let's bring the fuel down a little bit here. And we want, we're shooting for right around 12.5 air fuel to begin. Okay, so now we've leaned it out and we see our air fuels came up and it's right around that 12 and a half, 12.4 mark. So we're close.